Hey friends, Knife Detector here. So, I lost a knife. I can't find it. Don't know what happened to it. I can only guess what may have happened to this knife. Um, not an expensive knife, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you some images of it because I made a video on this knife when I talked about how to clean a knife, a flea market knife that you might get. And uh, I'm gonna show you a video not a video, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures so you know which knife I'm talking about. Yeah, so it was marked USA and uh, it was a three blade stockman. Kind of looked like an old cattleman knife or or Camillus or Volker from that era. Really wasn't anything special. Uh, it had steel liners. Um, probably a five dollar knife or so. But that's not the point of it. The point of it is is that I'm kicking myself because I've never lost a knife, a knife that I just misplaced in my entire life. I have no idea really how it happened. I've been looking all over the house, right? Um, but I do recall one day that I got off the car at Walmart and I heard the sound of something hitting the ground and the pavement. So I decided, well, let me take a look. And I looked around the car underneath and I didn't see a thing. So I figured, oh, it must have been, must have been nothing. And sometimes when I get in my car, I've noticed that sometimes things manage to work themselves out of my left pocket for some reason. And, um... That might have been the time that I lost it. Or, you never know, it might just turn up one day. But in any case, what do you do when, when you lose a knife? And all of a sudden you worry about things like where could it be? Or how much did I pay for it? Or, or um, hopefully whoever found it is a responsible person. Well, you like to think maybe they're a deserving person and it was their turn at some good luck. So... All these thoughts are going through my mind. I hope a kid didn't find it, you know, and uh, picked it up at the Walmart parking lot. Next thing you know, um, doing something they're not supposed to do with it. Uh, it was a very sharp knife. You know, I cut myself with it by accident, I think, in one of the videos. Um, in any case, you know, tell me what you think. Have you ever lost a knife? Something that you really liked? A uh, uh, really cool knife while you were mowing the lawn? That's another thing I ask myself, because that's a knife I would use to cut the cord for my weed eater. So then I thought, well, maybe I lost it there. And as I do was doing yard work this weekend, I looked and looked. And I couldn't find anything. As far as I know, none of my pants have a hole in them. You know, but uh, there you go. So what are you going to do? You know, these things happen. All you can do is move on and you pray that whoever finds it is a responsible person. And that's about the best that you can do. And I still hold out hope. I hold out hope that one day maybe I will go ahead and find that knife again. But until then, um, I just have to decide and I have to look at it like this. That it's just my time with that knife has expired. It's time for it to find a new home. And hopefully uh, owned by a person that will be able to use it and continue to use it. And uh, allow that knife to have a life uh, for years to come. So, until then, oh, sorry about that, guys. Until then, you know, this is Knife Detector saying, you know, uh, these things happen. Que se ra, se ra, right? And have a wonderful week coming up. I've been real busy this week, so I haven't had a chance to make a video, but I do have probably about eh, six or seven videos I'm thinking of uh, that I will be posting soon about different knives, uh, some cool knives, and some, some knives that are pretty random that you can probably find at yard sales. And, and um, also, I have uh, a couple of more elephant toe or sunfish knives that I need to make videos on. Um, have another cool knife on the way. I think it might be a Valley Forge. So, uh, upcoming videos, uh, coming up in the next few weeks, uh, probably going to try and do one video a week. And until then, I want to say God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe and stay sharp guys.